So now, what is the problem? Is the problem that you don't release enough GLP-1 and GIP, or is it that your beta cell is refractory to the GLP-1 and GIP? Well, it's the later. Just to, so let's say that again, Ralph. I want to make sure people understand this, and the reason it's important is Obviously, everybody listening to us right now is very familiar with drugs like semaglutide and terzepatide. Yep. But I want people to understand why those drugs were developed. And of course, semaglutide's already probably what the third generation of it anyway. So when we go back in time, we'll understand why people try to develop these drugs. But just say that again. So you eat your meal. Yep. GIP, GLP-1 are increased. And they come out normally. Yep. That's and, not the problem. And they're telling the beta cell, hey, Make more insulin. Beta cells deaf, not listening. Is resistant to the GLP-1 and GIP. And he should be responding to 70% of his input should come from that signal. 70% of the insulin that's going to come out is, in response is dependent to that. on that GLP-1 and GIP. So you can imagine that that's a huge problem at the level of the beta cell in terms of the defect in insulin secretion. 